Hi friends, good evening. Once again, welcome back to my channel Mugambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC exam preparation. Also, these questions will helpful for your RRB and other nursing officer exam. Previous video, we discussed questions from community health nursing. And today, we can see questions from medical and surgical nursing. In that, questions are from nervous system. First question, which of the following is the largest nerve in the body? Options, option A, radial nerve, option B, pudendal nerve, option C, ulnar nerve, option D, sciatic nerve. Largest nerve in the body is sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is largest and thickest nerve of the body. It is sciatic nerve. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which of the following is the largest cranial nerve? Options. Option A. Vagus nerve. Option B. Optic nerve. Option C. Trigeminal nerve. Option D. Facial nerve. This is largest cranial nerve. Previous question. Largest nerve in the whole body. This is the largest cranial nerve. Largest cranial nerve is trigeminal nerve. Option C is the correct answer. And smallest cranial nerve is... Trochlear nerve that is fourth cranial nerve and largest is trigeminal fifth cranial nerve. Move on to the next question. Most common nerve damage in shoulder dislocation is options. Option A radial nerve, option B axillary nerve, option C facial nerve, option D phrenic nerve. The nerve which is damaged in shoulder dislocation is axillary nerve. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Tardy ulnar nerve palsy is due to options. Option A. Cubitus vulgus. Option B. Fracture of condyle. Option C. Extension of elbow joint. Option D. All of this. Tardy ulnar nerve palsy. Ulnar nerve palsy is associated with cubitus vulgus. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which among the following is used to test the unconscious patient's peripheral response to pain? Options. Option A. Sternal rub. Option B. Nail bed pressure. Option C. Pressure on the orbital rim. Option D. All of this. Question. Which test is used to check the unconscious patient's peripheral response to pain? Check nail bed pressure. Option B is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which position is contraindicated in increased intracranial pressure? Options. Option A. Neck in neutral position. Option B. Head of the bed elevated 30 to 45 degree. Option C. Head turned to the side. Option D. Head in midline. Question. Which position is not given or contraindicated in increased ICP? It is... Head turn to side. Option C is the correct answer. During the time of increased ICP, we should keep the patient in neutral position or we can keep in midline position. We should not turn the head. Okay. So, it will help to or we can keep head and elevation up to 30 degree. It will help to reduce the ICP. Move on to the next question. In spinal cord, myelin sheath is formed by options. Option A, microglial cells. Option B, Schwann cells. Option C, oligodendrocytes. And option D, none of this. Spinal cord. In spinal cord, the myelin sheath is formed by oligodendrocyte. Spinal cord and brain. That is central nerve system. Central nerve system consists of brain and spinal cord. In this spinal cord, myelin sheath is formed by oligodendrocytes. And in peripheral nerve system, the myelin sheath is formed by Schwann cells. Okay. In central nerve system, it is by oligodendrocytes. And in peripheral nerve system, it is by Schwann cells. It is an important question. Move on to the next question. During physical assessment, a client reports that not able to smell coffee and most of the food items. Which cranial nerve function should be assessed for this gland? Options. Option A. Cranial nerve 1. Option B. Cranial nerve 2. Option C. Cranial nerve 10. Option D. Cranial nerve 12. Here the question is, while doing physical assessment, patient complains that he can't be able to 
smell he can't able to smell the coffee and most of the food item in this case which cranial nerve function is impaired or the nurse should assess which cranial nerve cranial nerve first is olfactory its function is sense of smell so here the answer is option a first cranial nerve first cranial nerve is olfactory nerve okay and the second cranial nerve is optic nerve and uh, option c 10th cranial nerve is vagus nerve and uh, 12th cranial nerve is hypoglossal nerve here smell is related to olfactory olfactory nerve function is sense of smell Moving to the next question. While performing neurological assessment of a client, the nurse identifies that the client has dilated pupils. This should be suggested problem of which cranial nerve? Options: Option A, second cranial nerve. Option B, third cranial nerve. Option C, fourth cranial nerve. Option D, seventh cranial nerve. Here the question. While doing neurological assessment, the nurse noticed or nurse identifies that client pupils are dilated. Okay, this should be indicate problem of which cranial nerve. And here second cranial nerve is optic nerve, third cranial nerve is oculomotor nerve, and fourth cranial nerve is trochlear nerve, and uh, last seventh cranial nerve is facial nerve. So here the answer is it is due to problems of third cranial nerve third cranial nerve function is movement of the eyeball and constriction of the pupil so the pupils are constricted because of the impairment of or because of the impaired functions of oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve is third cranial nerve move on to the next question if a nurse nods a colorless drainage on a dressing after surgery of brain tumor which of the following is the prompt nursing action options option a elevate the head of the bed option b notify the physician option c monitor the patient continuously option d give prescribed medication here the question after surgery of the brain tumor there is a colorless drainage on the dressing okay so what is the first nursing action it if it is noticed by a nurse so immediately she should notify this to physician because this is the leakage of cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid is colorless in nature so we have to report this immediately to the physician that is the prompt or first nursing action move on to the next question arsenic poisoning causes options option a mononeuritis option b myelopathy option c radiculopathy option d polyneuritis arsenic poisoning cause polyneuritis option d is the correct answer move on to the next question surgery done for myasthenia gravis is options option a pallidotomy option b hypophysectomy option c sympathectomy option d thymectomy the surgery which is done for myasthenia gravis is thymectomy option d is the correct answer move on to the next question the neural tube defect among newborn can be prevented by options option a iron and folic acid during pregnancy option b folic acid to mother during first trimester option c iron to the mother during third trimester option d vitamin k during pregnancy the neural tube defect can be prevented by giving folic acid to the mother during first trimester option b is the correct answer and the next question spine tuberculosis or spine tb is also known as options option a triple fracture option b pots disease option c osteoporosis option d osteosclerosis spine tb is known as pots disease option b is the correct answer and the first option tripod fracture means it is the fracture of zygomatic and maxillary bone and option c osteoporosis means demineralization of bone that is which causes loss of calcium and phosphorus which leads to fragile bone or bone become brittle and osteoclerosis means one of the disease of the middle ear which result in bony overgrowth of tissue surrounding the ear ossicles okay here spine tuberculosis or spine tb is known as pots disease option b is the correct answer 
move on to the next question csf is absorbed by options option a choroid plexus option b arachnoid villi option c pimenter option d all of this csf or cerebrospinal fluid which is secreted by choroid plexus and it is absorbed by arachnoid villi option b is the correct answer friends today we discuss questions from nerve system surely these questions will helpful for your exam preparation if it is useful for your studies please share my videos to your friend circle